Hey everybody, it's Jason from jasonscustoms.com and today I'm going to go over a uh, quick uh, intro to the Raspberry Pi Netboot Kit for the Sega Naomi hardware system. Uh, today I'm going to point out some of the things that the Netboot Kit comes with as well as how to set it all up and make sure you're ready to go. Uh, when your uh, Netboot Kit comes in the mail you're going to get a couple of things. You're going to get this which is an Adafruit pie plate fully assembled professionally here in uh, Northern Virginia, not by me. Uh, underneath you're going to see the Raspberry Pi connection, or excuse me, Raspberry Pi computer, as well as an SD card back here. Uh, next you're going to get this Ethernet crossover cable that you're going to use to connect to your net dim. You're also going to get this handy dongle that I made that connects up to this uh, CN12 header to supply 5 volts via this USB cable to the Raspberry Pi. And you're going to get one other thing, you're going to get this uh, little chip down here to uh, install in your net dim and uh, we'll put up some photos here at the end of the video showing uh, exactly how to set that up and put that in. Uh, things that you're going to need to provide for your uh, netboot kit clearly you're going to need a Sega Naomi system 1 like this or a system 2 which looks similar except it's gray. You're going to need a net dim with firmware 3.17 or above. You're going to need an I.O. board. I use a Capcom I.O. board because I've got one. You're going to use some sort of super gun or arcade or uh, test rig to hook up the JAMA connection to your I.O. board. Um, the USB cable obviously that connects the I.O. board to the Sega Naomi and a power supply strong enough to boot the Naomi with the net, bin, uh, excuse me, net, net dim uh, module. If you try to use the power coming in off the JAMA to the I.O. board and then plug the Naomi in here, it's not going to have enough power to boot up the Naomi and the NetDim. So, once you get everything hooked up, you can see it's pretty straightforward. Everything just kind of fits into place relatively easy. Um, you are ready to boot it all up. And when you boot it up, the first thing that you're going to need to do is go into the test menu because we need to set a couple settings so that the Raspberry Pi talks with the NetDim. So let's go ahead and power it up. We're going to power up the Super Gun first. And then we'll power up the Naomi next. Uh, at this point, you can see everything's coming on. I'm using uh, one of Undam's handy USB uh, to PlayStation 3 controllers here so that uh, I don't have to break out one of my big Panzer fight sticks while I uh, show this off. And then as we come over here, you'll notice a couple seconds later, the Pi Plate is uh, booted up and it shows that I have Marvel vs. Capcom 2 uh, loaded up into the SD card. Uh, I loaded that game specifically because I actually own that game. Uh, really, this is meant to be uh, a dev kit so that you can load homebrew games, uh, buy your games, support the, support the uh, manufacturers and the developers, and uh, use this to test things and try new things. But ultimately, you want to buy stuff so that you can support Sega, you can support uh, Capcom, etc., and they'll keep making good games. Uh, so now that the uh, Naomi is booting up, I've already booted this up a couple times with the uh, Netboot kit set up, and you'll see where this screen here it says checking network. At this point, it's actually waiting for something to come over the network and tell it what to do. Uh, more than likely, when you get yours and you hook it up for the first time, you're going to get an error message because your Naomi's not set up for it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the Super Gun, and I'm going to hit the service button here so that we go, or excuse me, the test button, so that we go here into the test menu. And you're going to see all the tests that you can do on your Naomi, but the one we care about the most right here is this network settings. Uh, the other one that we care about is the net dim board test. Um, the net dim board test is going to tell you what firmware you have, and it's going to run through all the system checks on the net dim. If your firmware is too old, your net booting will not work, so you have to have 3.7 or above. Uh, I'm not going to go into this and show you this because it takes about five or six minutes uh, to go through the entire test, and that's really not the point of the video. So using the service button, I'm going to go ahead and cycle through the menu and get into the network settings of the Naomi and make sure we've got these set up properly. So let's go ahead and put the camera here on the tripod and get that uh, set up. So you can see it, that should be good. Alright. 
So using the service menu uh, button, we're going to cycle through. There we go. First one, you want to make sure Ether is set up here. Oops, hit the wrong button. The best thing about this is you can't use a joystick, you have to use the service and test button to cycle through these menus. So we're going to go to IP address, and the first thing you want to set up is make sure your IP address is set up to this 192.168.1.2, and then your net mask is 255.255.255.0. Basically, if you remember old networking days before routers were affordable, you had to manually set all your IP addresses on your computers because you were using a, route or a, a switch or just a basic hub. Well, kind of think of the Naomi the same way. We don't have a router that's going to route an IP address to both the Naomi and uh, the net kit, the netboot kit, so we manually set these up. All right, so we're happy here. We're going to go ahead and hit exit. And we are going to go ahead and hit exit again. And then exit one more time. Okay, now the Naomi is going to reboot. Perfect. Now, we're going to show you a couple things on the, yep, we expected that, not a big deal. Now we're going to go here over to uh, the Marvelverse Cap, or the Raspberry Pi Netboot Kit, and there's a couple buttons here. You're going to see a select button, you got an up, down, and a left, right. If we hit left, you see it goes to games, and then if you hit right, then it's going to go to commands, and the first command that comes up is ping netdom. So we're going to go ahead and click this button that says select. And if it comes up and says success, that means the Raspberry Pi is actually talking to your NetDim, so that's good. Um, if you go to commands, you can see change target and ping NetDim. Those are the only two. With this system, if you use a single Raspberry Pi netboot kit and a switch, as well as four Naomi's, you can use this to power up to four Naomi's and send your, your games to four different Naomi's which uh, I don't know how many people have four Naomi's, but it's kind of nice to be able to do that. So we're going to go ahead here and go back to games, and it's going to immediately bring up the one that we have loaded, and we're going to hit enter, and it's going to start sending. Then as we go back over here, you're going to notice that the screen went black. And what that means is the Raspberry Pi is sending the game data to the NetDim, and as it sends it to the NetDim, it's actually being stored in memory on board your NetDim. Some of the NetDims have 256 megabytes of memory, some of them have 512. I think this is a uh, 256 megabyte version, which is plenty uh, for my situation. So it should be good for most. And you'll see now on the screen it says Naomi Network System Loading. So it's just going to sit here and do that for a few minutes. And uh, depending on what game it is, it'll uh, take longer than others. Now the screen went black, and then over on the Pi, you're going to see it says trans. Well, it did say transfer complete, and then it went back to the game menu. Now your net, your Naomi is rebooted. What it's doing is it's loading the game off of the net dim. I'm gonna make a plug for Undamned at the SRK forums here because. Uh, his little uh, USB, his PlayStation 3 slash Xbox 360 controller to JAMA uh, connector is pretty awesome. I love using it, and it makes using something like this when you're just testing something out real simple. So kudos for him for the development of that. Uh, I love this thing. All right, so the Naomi again booted up one more, rebooted one more time because it checked the game, said the game was good, and now the Naomi's loading the game. Okay, so while it's loading, you can see I don't have my game installed. It's right here, and it's a legit game. And here you go. If you notice it may have said Japan, and that's because I have a Japan BIOS installed in my Naomi because that's where I bought it. I bought it in Japan a couple months ago. All right, so there we go. We got it up and loaded. Let's go ahead and play.
And you can see it runs great, fluid, no problems. So there you go, made it through a match. Uh, I'm gonna blame the fact that I was using a pad as to why I suck so bad, but uh, I'd be lying. I'm not very good at these games without a, without the stick, and even with the stick, I'm actually not that good. They're more fun for me because I like to play them just casually and uh, build crap to make them work. Uh, so you can see the game runs great over the net boot kit, and uh, next thing what we can do is uh, if uh, you select a different game and you hit select, um, it's gonna re Re send a reboot signal to the Naomi and then start sending the game so that you can just pick another game halfway in the middle of the play and uh, go from there. Uh, in this case, I've only got the one game loaded up because that's the one game that I own and uh, it's just going to resend Marvel vs. Capcom 2 uh, to the Naomi but uh, as you can see uh, when you hit the send button it's just going to send it and reboot the Naomi and load it up again. So I hope you uh, enjoyed and uh, understand a little bit more about netbooting and the power that uh, that you can have with a, with a relatively inexpensive kit um, again. So uh, enjoy, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email using my website, www.jasonscustoms.com, and that's Jason with an E. I look forward to it. Hope you guys have a good day. Appreciate it.